Hey guys, Squirrel here with another quote unquote podcast. I'm here today with Colin. Say hi. Huh. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. And no Mike. Say hi, Mike. Uh huh. STF, uh, unfortunately, recently had to cancel our uh, meetup event at Hershey because there was too many factors and it just it didn't work out. I ended up going to Hershey Park with my tickets. Rest in peace, Colin. Ha ha. I died. <laughs> and my legs are still sore from Wednesday. My, I, I can't. They're they're like Jello. They're I, they're they're mush. They're they're mushed potatoes. Mushed. You know you have them at Thanksgiving. Mushed potatoes. Trust me, I wanted to go. Trust me, I really did. I couldn't justify the six hundred dollar plane ticket though. But why didn't you go? <laughs> six hundred dollar plane ticket. I don't have that money. Man, that's why you gotta work. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna end up rescheduling and doing something else eventually. If not this year, maybe next. We're gonna go to Lit It, so we're gonna fuck it up. We'll go to a mall food court and share a double cheeseburger with everyone that comes. We'll just take little yes. slivers out of the double cheeseburger. Like even people who don't aren't an STF, we're gonna give them a little bit of the cheeseburger. Like just random bystanders, we're gonna find them. So you, you want this pickle? Sir, I'm gonna give you my pickle all over your face. You better take this fucking pickle. You take shit. this white onion. Smear it on your mouth. But, okay. Take this fucking dick. Uh, we're pickle. getting off topic. We're getting off topic. Anyway. <sighs> uh, not much else has been going on in STF. The Sir- Darker Beast server's been dead for a while. We we haven't really been giving that enough attention. We probably should, but. Oh, fuck. I yeah, you forgot virtual... about that, Dingy Kong. Virtual kettle on my virtual stove and Gmod. Uh, I'm so rustled. All right, what the first... fuck is that beeping? You guys hear that? No. Stop smoking meth. Man, it's I only me. smoke meth on the weekends. I have a tracker in your head. I know what you're doing. Uh, I'm rustled. Rustled. Okay. Anyways, first article. Pokemon Go is now out in the U.S. Now, yeah! for those who don't know, you can go anywhere outside and spot animals, but, you know, fuck that, right? Because nature's bullshit. Well, now you can go outside with your smartphone and find some Pokemon. Ah, ah, ah. I love Have it. you guys played it yet? If the servers fucking work, I played I it. Just can't it find any damn Pokemon. My friend downloaded this the the A, I think the APK file, something something like that. He downloaded the file at Hershey Wednesday before the game was officially released. We were bumping into everyone just so we could catch fucking Pokemon. I was like, this is bullshit. Get the fuck out of my way! I'm getting the freaking Charizard. <laughs> No one catches a Charizard. They they catch a Charmander and then they level that <laughs> bitch up, man. Well, Damn. they fucking catch a char a Charmander if they fucking feel like it. I don't know. So far, I can't catch shit except for that junky ass Bulbasaur. I got like fifty Pokemans. 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 All I want to do is find some damn Pokemon. Is that so damn hard? Uh. Apparently, yes. You guys are rustling me. You guys are rustling me. So, uh, actually, something funny with Pokemon Go app, if you have it open and you get in your car and drive, your character starts running, like, at full speed. Didn't know this. It happened on my bike, too. That yeah, is so you, cool. You probably shouldn't. You I probably shouldn't, shouldn't do this while you're in a vehicle or a bike. Yeah, I, caught, yeah, I, caught, they... uh, I caught a Reddit uh, going 25 miles an hour on my bike. <laughs> Straight disclaimer, I'm, I'm everybody. There is a there is a warning that pops up when you just reverse turn it on. It says, "Be aware of your surroundings," because it doesn't want you to walk Man, out in front of a bus to go I, catch I a freaking Pikachu. I was watching the road with my other eye, so it was okay. It oh doesn't want God. you to. No, just don't. <laughs> if you are moving and you're not in your house, <laughs> do not try this, people. Do not. I mean, if you're in an empty field, go right ahead. But if you were like on a sidewalk. You're you're next to a nuclear facility. You're fucking n- near government building. You probably shouldn't be trying to catch Pokemon. You need to chill unless, out with that shit. Unless Mewtwo is in area, un- unless Mewtwo is in like area 51, you gotta fucking go in there. Area 51 for that fucking Mewtwo. 
You don't you know, pass it up. You're gonna get killed for a virtual Pokemon. GG. You know, I gotta wonder though, honestly. Mewtwo. I gotta wonder though, honestly, like serious question. Like, I'd like to know if the Pokemon, like the more rare ones, are actually in like more rare places, kinda like that. You know, if you go like to like a front of a military base, you know, and it says there's a place there, I gotta wonder if you'll find something really, really kinda rare that nobody else finds, you know? That would be the stupidest idea ever. But it'd be But it probably cool. exists. That's probably what's gonna happen. It it would be I, too difficult for them to render in something like that in the game. All the, all the rare military bases and nuclear facilities across the world, there's no way. Well, no, they're not rendering them in. Like, the map that you get is, like, really not that detailed. It's more like just, like, roads and then grassy areas is all it really is. Like, there's some places that are detailed, kind of, in a way, but... Like, they wouldn't have to do very much. Just put, like, a little marker that says, hey, here's a military base, and all of a sudden you see, oh, well, there's a frickin' mouth somewhere, you know? Alright, well, our next article here. Colin, why don't you read it? Oh, fuck, hang on. Really? I'm prepared. You said you were ready. <laughs> you said you were ready. Man, I never said I was ready. I wasn't you ready. You said it. You said, I'm good. I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. Hey, shut the fuck up. God damn it. We yeah. love you too, Colin. Oh, I love you three, Colin. Uh... Watch out for World of Warcraft's newest thieving scam. Do you know what a scam is, Colin? Yeah, it's it's like a Hawaiian meat that's made out uh -huh. of like fish. You eat it, and it tastes uh, really shit. Uh. Well, essentially, what this thing is is this command that you type, and if you type in this command, uh, some account or something gets all your gold in game, and not only after that, but if you type that link in, you're going to be sending that that link to other people, and they might think that it's a good link because you're sending it to them. They're just like, oh, he's sending me a link? Oh, he's a good guy. Click it. Bam! There goes your gold. All that time and and money out the window. Uh, Someone had to program that in. What the fuck? Why? Because gold has real value. In game, a any game with a currency like that, and you, the fact that you can trade it, it's always going to have a real world value. And speaking of stuff with real world value, this goes on our next article. There is a scandal going on uh, in the Counter Strike community with the gambling scene. We didn't even get uh, to finish out our freaking World of Warcraft topic yet. Eh, fuck wow. Fuck wow. Wow's well, been around I know. for a billion years. Fuck, fuck I, that. Call me the 1%, but I have not. I bought that game once, bought the expansion packs for it, and immediately regretted it because it was a big waste of money. I could not get into that shit. I just... Nope. Wasn't for me. But uh, a bunch of YouTubers um, are actually behind some of these gambling websites, and they're getting sued. And... So what's the point of it? Do you just gamble all your skins and stuff, or well, what? It's you. You get your skins, you gamble them, and then you know when you get them, you can sell the skins uh, for real, real money. Now, so, some of these skins, some some of the Counter Strike skins, they don't even go up on the Steam Marketplace because they are worth more than you can get in Steam money for it. So they never, never make it on. They're just skins for guns, though. Yeah, they're, they're skins for guns, knife skins, all that stuff. And, some and they're were, worth a lot. Yeah, we're, we're talking well over $1,000 for some of these skins. I, okay, I'm sorry, but I, I mean, I've seen some skins on there that look neat, yeah, but I don't think I'd pay $1,000 just to color my virtual gun in a game that I don't play enough of anyway, so... What if you okay. had no life? Counter I still wouldn't pay community. no $1,000. Yeah, I, I know, you know. It's I mean, a skin. I, I've actually bought a case and a key once, and I got like a two hundred dollar AK skin, and I, I think it was two hundred. No, it was a hundred. It was a hundred dollar skin, and I sold it and I bought some cheap games for like Me Fells and Dr Pepper. Uh, but yeah, there's good ways to make money. I mean, it just. So can anybody just make their own skin and then say, oh yeah, this thing's worth a thousand dollars? 
No, no it's it, all you can make. Made you can make Valve. your own skin. It just got has to get enough positive feedback on it, and then eventually Valve might decide to add it into CS:GO or however the hell that works. Oh my! Did you read the bottom of this hair? They have moved 2.3 billion dollars last year alone in skin in the skin betting thing. 2.3 billion? Are you shitting me? And they they probably make a, a good cut of this money too. So these YouTubers not only making YouTube money, but they're making bank off of this shit. That's insane. I'm sorry, but if you if you really want to pay a thousand plus dollars or even even anything over like you know maybe two or three dollars, okay, fine, two or three dollars, whatever. If you want to pay anything over a hundred dollars for a goddamn skin for a fake gun on a fake game on your computer that you paid more for the game in the first place, that is pointless, and you have no life, and you are wasteful. There's there's always yeah. going to be some demand for some if uh, it's digital and tradable. There's going to be some kind of value. Some some idiot's going to want to spend out the ass for it. This is how it is. Yeah. Literally. So T first... Martin, like what like what the guy's doing is like major fucking illegal. The FTC is definitely going to sue him. I'd say. But I uh, mean, literally to buy one of them damn skins for a thousand dollars, I have to work at least three and a half weeks. I know so, that's some of insane. These, some of these skins, like I know the M4 skin called the How. Uh, what happened was the original How skin was stolen material, so they had to pull the skin. But they can't just leave people hanging because people already spent good money, hundreds of dollars, to get this How How skin. So Valve made their own version of it, their own version. It was like. A, a special limited edition, rare, no longer available skin. So that price on that jacked. I mean, I can't imagine how much an M4 house skin goes for now, but it'd be through the roof. Again, though, it's a skin for a gun in a game. I just, I can't, I can't. I would rather buy DLC packs that have, you know, like actual guns in them that might help your advantage, not something that shows your gun is maybe golden-ish. It, it it's gaily. Some of these people they don't even they don't even play CS:GO. They they're just in it for the the adventure and thrill. And and the sad part is, you know, some of these kids they could get into some big trouble where they could owe some serious money. And I I I don't know. It, it just oh yeah, the the little ones is that's the problem is the kids anymore. Cause not to get off topic, but a while back they had a thing where a kid bought like two Xbox 360 for seventy five hundred dollars on eBay. And that's just one example, you know. I mean, they they see these freaking these skins and they say, "Oh, that looks cool." Well, mommy and daddy's credit card's paying for all this, and then all of a sudden you realize you have a six thousand dollar bill at the end of the month. Anyway, the silence is awkward. Next topic, then. Oh. Right, see, I'm watching. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching a picture of a cat in a bathtub, and the cat's freaking out. I'm sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> And you complain uh, to us for being off topic. Hey, you gotta the, put the, the picture cat, of the cat. <laughs> put the, the picture of the cat up there during the silence so that people don't the, get the, confused. The cat, the cat wanted to touch the water in the bathtub and then like slid into the bathtub, and the cat was like, his paws were flaming all over the place. Like, yo, oh, get me out of here! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! And then there, for some reason, there was an iguana in the bathtub as well, and the iguana is just trying to chill, but the cat just. <laughs> Flailing its fucking feet and legs everywhere, where trying Iguana to get out. Masteries. Yep. Lovely. Right, next, moving on. Next article. You're here. moving you on. Wanna, you want to you want to read it, Mike? Shut up, Colin. Sure. <laughs> Guy beats Fallout 4 without even getting hit, or you know, getting hit even once. Now I'm sorry. I've played this game. I call complete horseshit. Oh, Do not believe this I, whatsoever. I don't know. There are some to... tough, and I mean, even if you're on easy easy mode, tough bosses on this game. It took took him over 25 hours, and this was like his eighth or ninth attempt. Can you imagine that getting like almost done and getting hit like once and be like, "Shit!" Got to restart all over again. But I I don't know. I mean, if it was live streamed, maybe it's real, but uh, uh. I don't like single player games. I'm I'm more for the multiplayer experience. Yeah, unless yeah. it got on a live stream or it was filmed or something like the whole thing it was fake to shit. Well, I think there there's some footage there, but 
it's in different parts, so that so that it's not one whole video, and there could be a chance that he might have recorded bits and pieces and then put them together. I I don't know. Isn't there some scenes that you have to choose between ending somebody's life and making somebody survive? So isn't that technically killing somebody? And then you know, well, I guess that wasn't. I guess he didn't get hit. So it's it's without getting hit. But still, like I said, there are some tough bosses, and even some of the freaking just general enemies are pains in the asses to kill. Like the rats that come up out of the ground, you don't see them out of nowhere, and then all of a sudden there's like four of them on you. Yeah. Alright. Well, our last article here, Red Dead Redemption is out. It is out today, and it's running better on Xbox One than it did the 360. Now, it's not really out on Xbox One. It's if you have the 360 version of the game, and you can install it to Xbox compatible. One. It's ba- backwards compatible. Yeah. I mean, I, I, have, they weren't doing I have the, the whole game. Backwards compatibility I have the game. Thing. I mean, I don't have the disc. I have, like, the digital. And the I don't digital know if you digital. can... It's, what does it say here? It says, you can either pop in your old 360 disc to get a free Xbox One copy of Red Dead Redemption or buy it digitally on the Xbox Store. So, so you probably know. have to rebuy it if you don't have the disc. More than likely, I, know, I, that's I what played. It looks a, like. I played a, a shit ton of that. It was Red Dead Redemption and GTA 4. See, the only reason that I would rebuy the disc right now, and I already have the original Red Dead Redemption, so I'm gonna install it anyway. But the zombie expansion, and I can't think what it's called right now, but I would buy that disc only to add it to see if you could do that because I have that DLC but I don't think you can access DLC on Xbox One. Which that sucks. But if you notice there the frame rate is up to 30. They didn't really do anything different. They just basically transferred it over and that just kind of shows you what a better operating system Xbox One is versus 360. 30 frames versus 21. Uh, but yeah, Red, Red Dead Redemption was was great. I I love the game. It was definitely a nice uh, a nice shooter, and it just the environment was good. I mean, granted, online was cancerous. You had people roll up on you and ju- just shoot you for no damn reason. It's a good game. But it, it definitely uh, it, it's better than GTA in in when it comes to ninjas. Some of the people, mm-hmm. yeah, it was annoying getting shot at. But you could definitely get away a lot easier than you could on like GTA, where it's then GTA has passive mode. I don't remember if Red Dead Redemption had like a passive mode or something, but I don't, I don't know. I, I'm I'm glad I'm glad it's it's making a, a run at uh, Xbox One. I remember I loved this game back when it first came out because this was the uh, uh, sequel to Red Dead Revolver, if you remember that one from PS2. And the, even then, that game was pretty good, too. But I liked this one just because it basically was Grand Theft Auto in a western area. And the, if you notice, the map was like basically the same size as what Grand Theft Auto V is today. It was vast, huge, open world, do whatever you want to. And it involved U.S. and Mexico. So Well, it, it felt bigger because of, you know, you were on horseback. And you, it's not like you had a car or anything. It was travel it, you either had to fast travel at one of the travel points or you had to get on a horse and hustle 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 there's a I'm gonna look it up here the size comparison from GTA 5 to Red Dead Redemption Actually, isn't the GTA 5 map based on the Red Dead Redemption map, somewhat? Not really. The GTA 5 was more based on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Like they the have, uh... Game. Well, no, like, they don't really look like each other at all. Right. Uh, they're like, so there were some locations in GTA 5 that were named after locations in Red Dead. Did everyone just fucking die? And looking at, I say, I see a uh, link here. I'll send this out to you guys. That's the link to it, and that shows the actual comparison between the maps that Rockstar has put together. 
So, Grand Theft Auto 5, yes, it does still outrank Red Dead, so I do agree with you to where, I mean, things seem longer on horseback, but... And it took a whole lot longer to get, you know, from wherever you're at to wherever you're at, but... But again, the addition of cars and jets and helicopters and planes and all that, that just makes things a whole different. You can see the whole comparison between GTA 5 and 4, that was insane. I don't know, the, the GTA 5 and San Andreas map comparison, I think that is bullshit. Yeah, and I think that looks kind of weird too. I think that's, it seems like that San Andreas seems a little bit bigger than Grand Theft Auto 5 for some reason. I don't think that's necessarily right. Yeah, I think whoever did this map comparison is fucking retarded. They definitely need to put it to scale. Anyways, anyways, um, uh, wow, this has been a short podcast, I think. Should we, uh, just Google some stuff? Some random Goog shit? Go Google some stuff? Yeah. I, I don't want to Google any stuff. We, we can talk about Mike's burp. How was that burp, Mike? How'd that feel? Tasty. It was mellow yellow flavor. I'll rate that shit like a 6 out of 10. No, that was weak. That was like a... Two out of ten. Let's talk about my one of my favorite games, Farming Fucking Simulator. Let's let's farming talk about one of my we can't, favorite we can't games. Talk about that. We don't Sweeper. have enough time here, folks. Uh, cause uh, uh but you just said this shit was the, short. One of the solar flares are coming in, man. I got it. You're you a fucking end solar flare. Yeah, solar <laughs> flares. <laughs> are gonna objectifying the solar flares me. are gonna come in and they're gonna take down the broadcast, and it can end at any moment. 